What's up everybody? I'm Ingram and I'm one of the mind crafters and today we're going to go over some cool things that you can do with the industrial Tesla coil which is added by the advanced repulsion systems mod. Alright so what I'm going to show you how to build today is what I've called the tower of power and basically it kills everything that can get in your base like that creeper that just blew up everything you've been working on for the past hour. So to do that we're going to actually take an industrial Tesla coil we're going to give it some range upgrades and some speed upgrades to increase its distance and the speed with which it kills things. We're going to pipe those into an upgrade multiplexer, which will then forward all of its information to our industrial Tesla coil. Now to make sure that it only kills mobs and not us, we're going to take a programmable filter and the mob detector token, as well as a redstone input token, and finally an intersection token to make sure that it only kills mobs and only when we want it to. Now to get started we'll just cover a few basics of how these things work. Anything that you're going to do is going to go into your industrial Tesla coil. Now the way that it gets into the industrial Tesla coil is by the angle that you aim the block when you place it. For example here's our upgrade multiplexer. By placing it from behind it will actually send a beam of energy out in the direction that we placed it and we can keep doing this and every time you place it, if you place it all the way at this angle, you can see that it actually sends the beam downward. That's something you really need to keep in mind. It'll frustrate your life while you're trying to figure that out. So let's make this tower of power. To do that, the easiest way is to actually start with just a bunch of dirt because we're going to angle everything upwards and into the final result of our Tesla coil. So I'm going to go ahead and break this block. We're going to put an upgrade multiplexer there. Now, if we break this block above it, you can see the beam is going upward. That's exactly what we want. We're going to chain a couple of these upgrade multiplexers together and finally have them come out in our Tesla coil. So now anything that touches these two multiplexers will get beamed into our Tesla coil and configure how exactly it works. As far as what we're going to multiplex or combine, we're actually going to combine a few things. The first we'll do is a speed upgrade. Now a speed upgrade, these each add 9% to the speed of the Tesla coil. So that just in case, for example, an Enderman gets in your base, it's going to probably take two hits and we don't want it to wait around while the thing's trying to kill you. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add range upgrades. Now you need to really be careful with these because the Tesla coil can operate from any distance through any walls and that means that if you accidentally park it on top of a cave network you're gonna kill all the mobs inside that cave network which can create a lot of floating loot items okay so there's the base of our tower of power we've got range items each of these increases it by 10 blocks this has a default the Tesla coil has a default of 16 blocks so right now we're gonna have uh, the ability to kill anything within a 56 block radius which is which is a lot of things so to make sure that we're only going to kill mobs and not us, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our programmable filter. Now this guy takes a bunch of different tokens. And what we're going to use is we're going to use a mob detector token, and we're going to use a redstone input token, as well as an intersection token. So we'll take a mob detector, we'll take a redstone, and we'll take an intersection. And what we've done is we said, look for mobs and with this intersection token. Look for mobs and look for a redstone input. Now, strangely enough, the input signal actually has to come from the filter itself and not from the Tesla coil. So in order to turn this thing on and off, you have to put the switch on the, the programmable filter. Again, notice that our beam goes into our Tesla coil. So at this point, the only thing we have left to do is give it some power. To do that, I've just set up um, an MFSU that's fully loaded so that we can run at night. This thing can actually accept any voltage. You just want to make sure that it has enough power to run at night. I'm just going to bring this thing up here really quick. Well, it was supposed to be really quick, but I'm not that good with that. There we go. All right, so as soon as we connect these, it's going to start killing any mobs within that 56 radius. As soon as we flip the switch, stuff's going to start dying. Now, it will only kill mobs, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch it to nighttime. And as soon as it's nighttime, the mobs are going to start spawning. And you can see that this thing has already killed at least two items, or at least two mobs. I'm going to go ahead and spawn in 
What's your worst nightmare? How about I spawn in some oh, slimes? Those are pretty horrible. And creepers. These are the two things that do the most damage, both to my sanity and to my base. Creepers, sayonara. Slimes and all their little generations, one's getting killed right back there. Here's the big guy. Here's all his little spawns. Done and dusted. This is great if you're uh, living in a bog or a swamp and can not stand the constant of those stupid slimes. Anyway, sorry about the sound effect. There you go. There's your tower of power. And this thing will run um, as, as often as you want. You can control it with this lever over here. You can turn it off again if for some reason we don't want to kill anything. Or we can turn it back on. Remember to put that mob token in there. If you don't, it will try and kill you. And even if you're wearing quantum armor, it can still kill you. So that's it for today. That's the Tower of Power. Later we'll go into how to configure this thing to kill anybody that's not you and to suck up the items out of their inventory that you want. Um, and even do it without sending out that giant lightning bolt to tell the enemy where it is. All right? Guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave us a note. Let us know what you thought of the video. As always, thanks for watching and stay poised.